last time on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX! As you know, it's the start of a brand new year, and we've invited a few new students to join you. Leading the pack at North Academy, it's Jesse Anderson! No way! He's the kid with the Crystal Beast deck! I'd like you to meet our visiting professor from West Academy, Professor Thelonious Viper! Now then, why don't we kick off the year? by holding an exhibition match right now. <gasps> Jesse Anderson, and his opponent will be Jaden Yuki. Aqua Dolphin! <laughs> he took out them crystal beasts. Not quite. Get this, instead of going to the graveyard, they stay by turning into precious crystals. My crystal beasts are full of surprises. It. It's called Temp to the Crystal, and it gives me more bling for my buck. See, since I have three Crystal Beasts in play, once you draw, I get to invite one more to the party. Say howdy to my Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Ready? Why don't you tell our friend here about my special talent? I almost forgot. Whenever my tiger attacks, his power increases by 400. Topaz, show him what we mean. No, not Aquos. Let me sink my teeth in now. You want a taste, huh? Well, once I cut your strength in half, you're allowed to take a bite right out of Jake. Have fun. Oh, oh, be gentle. Poor guy, come on. You've been through worse than this. I have? I've only scratched the surface. Patience, girl. You've done plenty for now. Take a cat nap. Good idea. As for me, nap time is over. So I summon Neospatian Flare Scarab. <laughs> well, help me. Another spaceman. Neos? Scarab? Contact fusion! Jesse, meet elemental hero Flare Neos! Now that's a combo. Let's see what else you got. Well, I aim to please. So here, this one's for you. My Neo Space Field spell. Now, for every spell or trap card on the field, Neos gets a 400 attack point boost, plus a little extra, thanks to my field spell. He's so cool! Oh, yeah? Huh? And what does that make me, a box of used kitty litter? Come on! Just because I can appreciate my opponent's monsters doesn't mean I like you guys any less. Hey, kitty cats! Your nine lives are up! You said it! Declaw those things, Jay! You heard the man, Neos. There's more than one way to skin a cat. So let's try Flare Storm! It won't work! 
Thanks to this tough break. But due to my last resort trap card, I can activate a field spell. Huh. But there's something in it for you, too. You get to draw yourself a bonus card. As for me, I activate Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Where are we? We're in Rome, which means that your Neo space is gone. So are all those extra points. Oh yeah, now for the effect of my field spell. Guess what? Since I have two Crystal Beasts in my spell card zone, my attack damage now gets cut in half. This guy reminds me of me, without the good looks, not to mention the winning personality. Now, I switch Grand Mole to defense mode. I'm afraid that you can't do much else, because Neos goes back to your deck. Looks like someone's a little forgetful. But I have personality. These two are perfectly matched. Yet, I'm at the edge of my feet. That's strange. It seems Professor Viper doesn't share your enthusiasm. <laughs> so you like my crystal beasts, do you? It looks like today's your lucky day. I play Rare Value. When there are two or more crystal beasts in my spell and trap card zone, and I sacrifice one, I can draw two new cards. Sorry, turtle, but I'll bring you back soon, old pal. Now to draw. I summon Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. How many of these things do you have? I would love to pummel that little toothpick of a man. Topaz Tiger, time to whack that mole. Looks like you forgot something. Whenever my mole's in a smackdown, both our monsters go back to our hands. Not too shabby. Of course, I'm not alone. You did notice the elephant in the room, right? Well, here's a closer look. should do. Our reputation rests with Jaden. No wonder you're sweating. I never sweat. I perspire. Professor Viper, you're back. Forgive me, Chancellor. I had to step out. But I've been monitoring this duel closely, and I'm quite pleased. They're both exhibiting their full potential. I just hope the other students are inspired. Couldn't agree more. Let's, Let's right, right, you fools. Fight. fight. Fight, fight with everything you have. Trust me, the energy you expend will be donated to a worthy cause. And once I harness enough of your inner strength, my wish will be granted. Hmm. This is a code red, boys. The Sarge needs backup. You don't know the half of it. Jaden's in way over his head this time. Master? Why are you here? Gee, thanks. Nice to see you, too. I'm a student here, remember? Student? I thought you were back on the pro circuit. I was until I heard those crystal beasts were here. They're legendary, dude. Hold up, Phoenix. You're giving up the pros just to get your hands on some cards? Not quite, Hassleberry. Only Jesse can control the crystal beasts. They have a special bond. <laughs> You wish, get lost. A bond? Like that wacky glue? This might be a little over your head, but some duelists have a strong connection to their cards. Ever notice that Jaden's always talking to his monsters? Well, Jesse can do the same thing with his crystal beasts. In fact, even when they get destroyed, their spirits are always with him. Let me put it in your language, soldier. It's like Jesse has his own personal army ready to back him up whenever he's on the battlefield. Cards that talk? Monster spirits? What kind of fool you think I am? Hasselberry, I don't think you want me to answer that, so let's move on. What I'm trying to say is, 
Jesse didn't choose his monsters. He was chosen by them. The cards picked him? Give me a break. Yeah, we all need a break from this duel. All that junk about talking cards is hooey. You don't believe me? Then why don't you give Maximilian Pegasus a call? He told me about all this back when I won my first Industrial Illusions tournament. Aster Boy. That was quite a tremendous victory. You are without a doubt one of the finest duelists I've seen. You're in my top five. Yugi Moto is number one, of course. The number two slot goes to Seto Kaiba. I'd have to say Joey Wheeler is number three. And the fourth is you. Who's the fifth? Jesse Boy, of course. Who's that? I met him a few years ago at a regional tournament down south. As soon as Jesse took the field, something strange happened. The Crystal Beast cards I had with me began to call out to him. No way! Wow, I thought they were just a legend. Oh, they're real. And now they belong to him. He took them? For keeps? I would have paid anything for those cards. Too bad they weren't for sale. They needed to choose the duelist they wanted. You mean the cards picked him? My dear boy, there are mystical powers out there that you wouldn't believe. Well, cheers. Here's to all your future victories. Jaden, I hope you know what you're dealing with. I have no idea what I'm dealing with. I'm just glad those crystal things of his don't have any attack points. No attack points? But that can only mean... You're planning to sacrifice those jewels, aren't you? Huh. How do you know? What's Jaden talking about? All right, you got me. I'm gonna trade in my crystals for an upgrade. So then I was right. Almost. Here's the deal. There's seven crystals. And when they're all on the field, they merge to make something new. Sweetness. This I gotta see. You'll play it soon, right? <laughs> Not quite. What fun is that? I don't want this to end yet. I'm having a blast. Sorry, but you're gonna have to wait. Me, wait? If you won't summon it, then I'll force it out. I activate Convert Contact. Since my field is empty, I can take one Neospatian from my hand and one from my deck and send them to my grave. Then I can draw a card for each monster on your field. Plus the card I would normally draw. That's two. I play, and this may sound strange, a spell card called Cocoon Party. Here's how it works. For every Neospatian in my grave, I get a cocoon. How cute. Little baby aliens. Sure, they're small now, but you know kids these days. Before you know it, they're all grown up. So I play Contact. Not bad! Three Neospatians in one turn? That's right! Now watch this! Thanks to my Hummingbird's effect, I get a thousand life points! 500 for each of your cards! But that's not all! Next I'll activate Neos Energy! giving my Dark Panther 800 extra points. Now go use them! Attack his Amber Mammoth! Remember, thanks to my field spell, I lose half as many attack points. But I gotta say, your deck is awesome, Jay. Right back at you. Now, uh... How about you go ahead and play this secret monster of yours? Believe me, I wish that I could. You want to see a monster? Well, here's my Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus. Ready, pal? Okie doke. Then for starters, let's show off your special effect. Whenever Sapphire Pegasus joins the field, Guess what I'm allowed to do? 
take a crystal beast from my graveyard and summon it. Surprise, it's good old Ruby. And she's got a special ability too. Be careful what you wish for, because now you have to face all seven of my crystal beasts at once. All right, Ruby, it's your time to shine. Now you can merge them, right? You have a one-track mind, don't you, Jay? Ha! Is he gonna summon this dragon of his or what? All right, agents, follow me! Aye, aye, Chief. Pegasus, attack Dark Panther! Ow. Amethyst! This time, it's personal. Time to pounce, girl! Huh? <laughs> me out! Cobalt Eagle! Amber Mammoth! Now, it's your turn, Ruby! Sam Hill! Oh no! Jaden! You alright? I've been scratched, trampled, and packed. So yeah, I feel just peachy. What else you got in that bag of tricks? That's all. Good, then I'll go. Come on, deck don't, don't fail, fail me now. Watch this. To start, I'll play the spell card Fake Hero. Thanks to this, I get to summon any hero from my hand. And I choose my Neos. But wait, next I play Contact Soul! Since Neos is on the field, I can summon another Neospatian from my graveyard. And I pick my Air Hummingbird! Now merge to form Elemental Hero, Air Neos! And get this! Since you have more life points than me, Neos gets extra attack points! 1,200 big ones to be exact. Not a bad special effect, huh? So it's game over. Neos, finish this. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time. Remember that monster you wanted to see? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to summon his dragon. It's about time. All seven crystal beasts are here, which means there's only one thing left to do. I play. Rainbow Dragon! Meet the most feared creature in history! You'll never survive! Just kidding. Rainbow Dragon. Well, that's the funny thing. I haven't got that card in my deck yet, Jay. <laughs> uh, come again? That's just wrong, dude. This is totally lame. No Rainbow Dragon? What's up with that? Oh, come on! Sorry, everyone, but I know it's out there somewhere. What do you mean, bro? Well, according to the legend, the soul of the Rainbow Dragon lives inside an ancient stone tablet, but no one knows where to find it. But when it is found, according to Pegasus, it's gonna be made into a Duel Monsters card. Hey folks, if anyone sees a tablet, let me know, okay? Cause I plum need it. Huh. Excellent. A fitting start for the new semester. Now join me, won't you? Your first lesson is complete. Huh? Lesson? As I explained to you before, I fancy myself a man of action. You learn by practicing. 
So I'll be organizing mandatory duels every day. And I suggest you comply, because from now on I'll be monitoring your every move. Huh? He's scaring the students! You're right, and that's our job! You're my pupils now, and to succeed you must duel! Oh man, <laughs> something's not right about this. What gave that away, the maniacal laugh or the creepy music? See, all you had to do was play this combo and you would've won. Yeah, but this one's more fun. See, I just add that to this. Oh yeah. Hey, let's talk about your deck now. They're twins. Ain't that cute? Two Jadens? Oh well, I guess it could be worse, right? At least Chaz doesn't have a twin. Rematch? Anytime. Chilling out with the crew in the schoolyard. Finding trouble now, but looking too hard. We're back at class, they never taught us this.